guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Um, so I've got back from work and basically, basically, I mean, you already know what this is about from the title of the video. It was my birthday on the 7th of September, which you may or may not know. It's the whole reason for Sarah's end of September. Um, a very extravagant celebration of one's turning 24. Anyway, um, and I had this plan, like I even said it in the first video, that I was going to make so many birthday cakes, it was going to be it was going to be amazing however between filming all these videos between working ugh, some pretty crazy on call shifts and celebrating with my friends and family i did not make myself an official birthday cake and now it's like 20th september it's a little bit late but i have all this stuff that i bought to make the cake i have like amazing pretty candles all my like, cake icing and stuff but no cake now, if you guys watched the video of me making my sister's six-tier wedding cake, you know that I love baking. I love it. I think it's like, oh, it's like art that you can eat. It's I eat. I eat. Eat art. I'm fully aware that making your own birthday cake and potentially like putting the candles on, because I think I might because I did pay for them and I'm not going to use the 24 ones again. Um, I'm aware that that might be quite sad. However, I don't really care. <laughs> So I'm going to make myself a birthday cake. And also, we've had a really tough week at work. We have so many patients and there's so much going on. It's been really crazy. And my team, they're amazing. I have the best, funniest team. I think that just bringing in some cake tomorrow would really like cheer everyone up and just, I don't know, cake just makes the day better. So I'm going to make myself a birthday cake, but really it's a cake for my colleagues at work. They will probably be like, why have you made such an extravagant fancy cake, if it goes well, um, and brought this into work? And I'll just be like, because I'm weird and I like baking. Please just don't ask questions, just eat the cake. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to see how I'm going to make it, I don't really have a plan yet. I know I want it to be chocolate. I know I want it to be pretty, but I don't have much of a plan. Um, but if you want to see how I'm going to make it, then please keep watching. And, oh, oh, that's a good stretch. We'll go make it. I think I will bake the cake first and then I'm gonna pop out and buy some more decorations because I need more decorations. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> but yeah, let's start baking and make tomorrow a good day. Here we go. So to start off, I'm just gonna grab 350 grams of self-raising flour and sieve that into a large bowl. Um, so it's nice and non-lumpy. Then I'm going to grab four tablespoons of cocoa powder and sieve that in two again to get rid of all the lumps. Um, after that, I'm going to add, I think it was two te two teaspoons, yeah, two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Um, then I grab some caster sugar, 300 grams of that, which I didn't sieve in, but I poured into a bowl and then added in because you don't really need to sieve caster sugar, even though it's lumpy. Um, so I just mix all the dry ingredients up so they're nice and smooth, well combined. Look at that, look at that, yes. All community together. And I'm going to add in some oil, <laughs> some sunflower oil, 300 mils of sunflower oil into the middle. I've made like a well in the middle just to make it easier to mix. But honestly, guys, I was kind of doing this for the video. Usually I just chuck everything in and mix it all as one. But if you want to follow the rules, then do it this way. Um, then I add some eggs into that. So four eggs, four whole eggs. Then you want to add uh, 300 mils of semi-skimmed milk. So just pour that in. Then I added in four tablespoons of golden syrup. I didn't actually measure that out, sorry, because um, I've made this recipe quite a few times, so I'm pretty confident eyeballing it. Um, in fact, most of the cakes I make, I usually eyeball. I just kind of thought that I would film this one for you guys and do it a little bit properly. Um, and then I just mix it up with a handheld mixer until it's nice and smooth. Um, it's quite a runny mix, which gives you a really nice, light and moist cake. It's such a good recipe. Then I grease and line the tin. Now the way I do this is that I spray the tin with some fry light. I then put some baking powder on it, um, baking powder, baking paper on it, which just sticks to the sides quite nicely. And then I spritz it again with some more fry light. And then I pour that into, I pour the mixture into the tub and I pop it in the oven, the center of like a 200 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it's done. The way to check if it's done is to put a sharp knife through the center and when it comes out clean, so with no like, cake mix on it that's when you know it's done now when it is done you want to leave it to cool in the tin is what I did and then just pop it out of the tin and I was rushing I literally decorated this cake in about oh I'm gonna say 15 minutes 
Um, so it's quite easy and quick, but this is me rushing, so notice how many chunks I lost there. But you just want to level out the top. This is just a life, great life tip for baking, is that if your cake is level, it's going to look professional, um, or it's going to look almost professional. And then because I was lazy, I just made this all in one tin. Um, however, you can make separate cakes and stack, stack them, but I just made this all in one tin, and I cut it in half, and then I'm going to sandwich it back together again. Um, really lazy of me, I just didn't have the um i didn't have another tin to be honest um i didn't have the time then i'm going to take my betty crocker chocolate icing and i'm going to ice that along the lower lower part of the cake then i'm going to get some oreos this was such a nice t uh, twist i really like this i crushed some oreos um on top and then i added some more chocolate icing that is quite hard to kind of like stick down so be careful with it but um once you do get it all smoothed over it's a really nice like slightly crunchy mix and yeah i really enjoyed that so i sandwich it together like so so chocolate icing oreos chocolate icing um, and then once i've done that i just pop the top layer of the cake back on top and we are ready to go now just in case i've put the top piece back on a little bit wonky i'm just going to level it again to make sure that the top of the cake is as flat as possible as i said i literally rushed so much with this so i didn't even bother making it that level i was just like whatever i'll just even it out when it comes to icing it and because of the design that i decided to do things don't really need to be perfect it's kind of a messy looking style of cake so i just iced the cake then with loads of chocolate icing um and i remembered that i actually have a little turntable if you don't have one of these and you're into baking get one it literally changes the game like it changes the game so I just put it on that and I continue icing the cake getting it nice and smooth I didn't bother getting it perfectly smooth to be honest again because of the design of the cake so what I did then was I got some white chocolate which I melted in the microwave and I added a little bit of oil so just about two tablespoons of um, vegetable oil just to make the consistency a little bit thinner and then what I did was I very sparingly and I mean sparingly poured the white chocolate on top of the cake I didn't even pour it I like spooned it on now what you want to remember whenever you're doing a drip effect on a cake is that gravity never stops gravity doesn't stop when you stop um, it carries on going so if you put the chocolate on it's best to put less because you can always add more but taking it away in that uh, you can't take it away so always use less to start with sorry for the terrible camera angle of this guys as i said i was rushing so so much um so i just gently push tiny amounts of the chocolate um over the edge of the cake really gently and slowly um because even after i push the chocolate over it's going to continue dripping and what you don't want is it to just really quickly drip all the way down the cake and then you'll just get you won't get a drip effect you'll just get like a white chocolate cake which is not what i was going for so as you can see i have different levels of drips and um i just continue to push over small bits of the chocolate just to add more drips as i fancy um and then what i decided to do was to actually do an ombre effect so i kind of made this up as i went along i decided to do an ombre effect because i'd made i'd melted way too much uh, white chocolate so i just added some milk chocolate to the white chocolate to get a slightly darker chocolate which i then added again to the cake now i didn't add this one all over the center because there was no need you do not want too much chocolate on top it's just going to keep dripping um and i also didn't let the um white chocolate dry i, ha I was going to let it dry so that i'd get like distinct separate colors but actually the ombre effects i quite liked like the kind of chocolatey confused mixed effects i really liked so i just very carefully put this lighter milk chocolate around the edges allowing a few to drip down some of them as their own separate independent drip and some of them i allowed to overlap um with the white drips that were already there that is really satisfying to watch <laughs> to watch that drip down um so i only put it around the edges because then i can control how much drips and i don't end up with just a pool of chocolate on top of the cake um so i continued doing that and i continued the ombre effect so um once i had added enough of that color i then added some more dark chocolate um, and melted that and did another layer of dark chocolate drips over the cake um which i really liked i really liked the effects and how it came out i wasn't expecting that i was kind of just making this up as i went along um so that was quite satisfying and i dripped it all around the cake checked that i'm happy with every side um and then i just started adding chocolate <laughs> this is how come i could do it in 15 minutes and part of me didn't even want to do this video because people were a little bit like yeah that's a good cake well done how did you do that and 
having shown you like it's literally so easy it's it's baking isn't hard but once you know the secrets like leveling a cake getting a turntable and the right appliances to smooth out the icing baking is super super easy this wasn't a complicated cake i basically just got chocolate bars all of my favorite chocolate bars is chocolate bars is <laughs> all of my favorite chocolate bars you'll notice that there's no like um uh, Mars bar or anything it's a lot of kinder because I love kinder chocolate got some Reese's some flakes and I just stuck those on with a few hippos because they are just the cutest and that was it then I added the 24 candles just by myself I didn't take the candles into work how sad is that <laughs> just to see what it would look like if I'd actually made this on my birthday um, and it was so good it tasted great everyone loved it and I'm really glad I made it um, thanks so much for watching you guys if you do try this video recipe please don't forget to let me know let me know in the comments send me pictures of what you make and how you decorate it I would love 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 to see thanks for watching guys I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Love you. Bye.